Oh my god, I have received so many requests for this video and this video would be all about dry brushing, why you should dry brush, what are the benefits and also me going into my personal tips and tricks that I have accumulated in my keratosis pilaris journey. So if you want to know everything about dry brushing and how it can help in your keratosis pilaris journey or chicken skin, then do stay tuned and watch the whole video because if you skip, you will be missing out on some of the insider tips that I have. Hey guys, so if you are seeing this face for the very first time, hi, I'm Moitri Haldar. I post a lot about skincare videos such as this one, makeup videos, haul videos, random videos, recipe videos, and everything that you guys recommend me such as this video right here. This was so highly requested. And if you are into that genre, then do consider subscribing and hitting on that bell notification to get notified every time I upload, which is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. In this video, I'm going to talk about dry brushing, what are the benefits, why you should use it, how you should use it, and how it can benefit your keratosis pilaris journey. So let's go. So starting off with the question, what is dry brushing? So dry brushing is an age-old process. Dry brushing involves using a dry brush, especially meant for dry brushing, which has natural bristle. It is meant to be brushed on a particular direction, which is towards your heart. And it is generally done in your dry skin without applying any moisturizer or any soap. Coming on to why you should dry brush. First of all, it removes toxins from your body. Secondly, it helps in your lymphatic drainage. And this is one of the main benefits of dry brushing. Dry brushing stimulates the lymph flow, which contributes to our immune system. So dry brushing is great, especially now because there is a whole trend of drinking vitamin C and how you should boost your immunity. So this stuff can help you with your uh, pandemic situations too. Apart from that, it has great exfoliation properties. It removes your dead skin cells. It is also shown to reduce your cellulite and over a prolonged period of time, it can help in cellulite. It is also poor cleansing and lastly, it can help you to unplug those keratin plugs and thus making dry brushing a great addition to your keratosis pilaris journey. Coming on to who should dry brush. Now, dry brushing can be done by anyone who have uneven skin texture. Also, the little bumps on your skin can be helped by dry brushing. Also, people who have keratosis pilaris. It is a physical exfoliant, so it will remove your dead skin cells, thus making it a great addition to your body exfoliation journey. If you suffer from a lot of ingrown hair while you shave, because I have a lot of ingrown hair and dry brushing has been helping me a lot, it exfoliates your skin on a regular basis, thus making your pores clean and free from oil and sebum and gunk, thus making the hair follicles to poke out rather than sit beneath your skin. Coming to the main question, how you should dry brush. First thing that you need to do is to choose a right type of brush. Now, a right type of brush will always be made with natural bristles. So do not ever use synthetic brushes because that stuff might harm you and natural brushes are your way to go. Now, coming on to the process and the technique. Now, dry brushing should be done on the direction of your heart and dry brushing should be started off from your feet. So from your feet, just go upwards to the direction of your heart and for the neck and decollete part, you need to go downward and for the hands, you need to go inward towards the direction of your heart. So this is the basic concept and now you should dry brush on a dry skin because this is called dry brushing. But people who are sensitive and who are initially starting, you can apply a thick moisturizer of your choice or a fatty kind of oil which is non-comedogenic. Don't use coconut oil. You can use olive oil, jojoba oil or any other body oil that you might like or you can use soap but I do not generally recommend but you can use a barrier sort of a thing between your dry brush and your skin to create a much more sensitive skin friendly dry brushing technique. Now, when you should dry brush, you can dry brush on any part of the day. Now, I prefer dry brushing on the daytime because when you dry brush, it gives you this boost of energy. So I really like in the daytime. In fact, the first thing that I do in the morning is to dry brush my skin and then do the other stuff. You can also do it at the night time and also while you are showering. And especially if you are using an oil and you want to wash all that off. So shower time is a great time. Now you need to dry brush every single day. And if you are first starting off, then try every alternate days. Do not 
not ever tug and pull the brush use light and gentle strokes it will benefit your skin because if you tug and pull your skin it might create micro tears which is not exactly great for your skin thus leading to a more bad skin and also pigmentation and lastly very important step of dry brushing is to moisturize your skin now the basic principle of keratosis pilaris is to exfoliate and moisturize and to any skin you need to exfoliate and then moisturize first of all exfoliation renews your skin and moisturization helps to recover your skin from the renewal process so both of them combined together is a really great effective way in promoting a smooth and non textured skin i go into product recommendation in a bit so stay tuned now mentioning a couple of pros and cons about dry brushing so the pros being it is great for uneven and textured skin it is great for your ingrown hair and also keratosis pilaris it helps in your lymphatic drainage it unclogs your pores and it also reduces the tiny bumps that you guys might have on your body now mentioning a couple of cons now dry brushing might not be suitable for sensitive skin or people who have reactive skin so try it first see your skin is reactive to it and if your skin is reactive then stop it because normal exfoliation or using scrubs can do the trick and lastly because this is a physical exfoliation and it has to be done manually you can go overboard with it and tug and pull your skin so please be cautious and use gentle light strokes to dry brush now coming on to couple of tricks that i have accumulated in my dry brushing journey first and foremost be gentle on your skin do not tug and pull if you tug and pull it won't give you good result because over exfoliation is a thing and you do not need to tug and pull what a gentle stroke might give you the harsher stroke will give the opposite and worsen the condition that you already have after you have exfoliated you need to promote a healthy skin barrier so apply a good thick moisturizer body cream body oil anything you might like as for my recommendation i am liking these two products now this is the dermafix cell by cell renewal cream which i have completely finished and this cream is really great for summer months or if you have a oily skin but in the winter months i have shifted towards this body butter which is from petal fresh it is a great body butter it smells amazing now this was a pr but i'm really liking this stuff and in fact i have already purchased one of their other scents and i really like it it's a thick but not yet pore clogging and i really like it using a good thick moisturizer will not only promote your skin barrier function but also make the renewal process and the healing process much more faster Another tip is to have some recovery products. Dry brushing can lead to a little bit redness which is completely normal and it will go in some time. But if your skin is reacting to it and is red for a prolonged period of time, you need to have some recovery products because some days your skin won't react how you want it to be. So including stuffs like tamanu oil which is a great recovery product. In fact, using a niacinamide serum and by the way, if you want to see the review, the link will be right here. Niacinamide serums are generally great for improving your skin barrier and when your skin is irritated niacinamide serum can really help you sometimes in like some parts of my legs and inner thighs it does gets a little red even for me when i'm dry brushing for like 3 to 4 years i do get it sometimes but these recovery products really help me everything that i recommend all the product recommendation and all the video that i mention everything will be linked in the description box so just check it coming to the most important tip is the storage of your dry brush now if you are dry brushing you need to sterilize your brush because you do not want any pathogenic bacteria forming in the brush because if you dry brush with those bacteria those bacteria will sit on your skin thus destroying your skin barrier and giving you more acne bumps and what not so you need to sterilize your brush because i dry brush on dry skin what i generally do is first of all i rinse this through water let it dry like this and you always need to dry your dry brush like this because if you dry like this or this the water will seep into your dry brush thus making your brush shed much more quicker so you need to always dry off your brush like this and after my brush has been dried i spray a layer of like alcohol mixed with water 
to kill all the bacteria, the germs. And if you are not allergic to tea tree oil, then a great hack is to use water mixed with a couple of drops of tea tree essential oil. Now, if you are allergic to fragrance, do not try it. But if you have a normal skin, this is a great cheap alternative way. Now, for the people who are using the dry brush, using oils and moisturizer to create a barrier on your skin, to those people, you need to use a little soapy water to rinse off this product, then dry it in a similar way that I mentioned. And lastly, when it's dry, spritz it with a little bit of sanitizer or alcohol plus water or tea tree plus water. And then you can store it just like this. And the last tip would be to use a good quality brush. Use a brush that has natural bristles. I have used a crappy brush in the past. Use a good quality brush. It doesn't cost that much. Around like 500 to 1000 rupees can yield you a pretty decent dry brush. So use a good quality natural bristle dry brush rather than going to a cheap route and trying these synthetic brushes. Now coming on to my final thoughts. Yes, I absolutely recommend dry brushing because it has helped me in my bumpy skin journey and in my keratosis pilaris journey might not benefit you if you have sensitive skin might give you more bumpiness but this is something of a personal preference so do your research and dry brush properly and do all the steps that i have mentioned moisturize it and if dry brushing doesn't really goes well with your skin use a normal exfoliator that might benefit you well but do not forget to exfoliate because if you are suffering from keratosis pilaris journey it is the agenda to exfoliate exfoliate and moisturize because these two things are the only things which will help you in your keratosis pilaris journey so hey guys that was my video on dry brushing many of you guys were suggesting this video i'm sorry i took a lot of time but i need to do my research before telling anything to you guys because i serve my videos as a guide for you guys to better understanding than seeing a description and going on to website i really want to create content that will be valuable to you guys so I do take a little bit of time but please be patient I will bring valuable content that would be beneficial for you guys so if you like my work and you like my content then do like this video comment down below any of the thoughts that you have on dry brushing if you are using dry brushing if it had not worked for you mention in the comment box below help the community share your thoughts help me too I really want to get your guys opinions share this video to any of your friends who are looking forward to dry brush and want to have this one stop guide subscribe to my channel for getting more such content and i'll see you guys in my next video so bye bye and take care this is what i go through every time i film because i have like bazillion dogs like street dogs beneath my apartment and they shout all day and also the transport <laughs>